Hello and welcome to Skipping Excel number three. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right, let's just review where we are. Our goal was to get orders out of our e-commerce system into our accounting system, QuickBooks Online. The first way that we tried this was a very manual way where we would open up the invoice in one system and do a copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste to get it into QuickBooks Online. On average, that was taking me around 30 minutes at the end of every day. Then I decided to improve that process. And so I decided to do in batches where at the end of the day, I would do all the invoices for the day in a batch. What that looked like was exporting the batch of transactions, cleaning it up manually in Excel, and then uploading it into QuickBooks. And that was able to save like half the time. Like now it was only taking about 15 minutes per day. And then I decided to make the next iteration of improvement and make it even faster. And so instead of manually cleaning the Excel file, I used Power Query. And that was able to get this down to about a five minute per day process. And then we decided to go with a zero minute per day process by skipping Excel altogether. So in the previous video, what we learned how to do was send a copy of each order out of our e-commerce system all the way to Mail Parser. And we got our feet wet with learning how Mail Parser will receive an email, parse it based on the rules that we define to locate and identify the key fields. And now what we need to do is get those key fields all the way into QuickBooks. And the way that we're gonna do that is through Zapier. So once you've set up your account with Zapier, we're gonna log in, we're gonna create a Zap. And the first thing we need to start with is a trigger app. And this is the thing that initiates this workflow, AKA this Zap. In our case, it was Mail Parser. So we search for our app, Mail Parser, and we select it. Here we're gonna choose an event, which is a new email parsed. Click continue. We select our account and click finish. Now we need to select the inbox. So the inbox was e-commerce sales. That was our nickname and we click continue. Now what we're going to want to do is test the trigger and this is going to test the connection between mail parser and Zapier. So we click test trigger and sure enough, it's telling us that it found this information, which is beautiful. Okay. Cause here's all the fields that we had set up in mail parser, including our product code. Okay. So now we click continue and now what we do is send this data to the next place. And this place could be any number of thousands of different Zapier supported applications. In our case, it's gonna be QuickBooks, but it could easily be, we could set up to an Excel doc. We could send this to Active Campaign. We could send this to any number of places. In our case, we're gonna send it to QuickBooks. So we select QuickBooks Online, and then we can choose from a variety of different events. So what do we want? QuickBooks Online to do with this data. Create a bill, create a credit memo, create customer expenses, create product service, journal entry invoices. And so you can see there's lots of different things supported, including finding accounts and customers. In our case, we simply want to create an invoice. Then we click continue. We select our account and continue. And now Zapier is saying these are the fields in QuickBooks which data that you're getting from Mail Parser do you want to map to each of the fields that are needed by QuickBooks? Okay, so we select customer and custom, and then these are the fields that come from Mail Parser, and we can show all options. So what we would say here is we want the Mail Parser field called name to go into the QuickBooks field called customer. And then we just go through this list. So for email, we want this, and we just pick and choose. For the billing address, we want uh, this and then a new line and then city comma space this space and this okay if we had terms we could pick it what do we want the invoice date to be we're going to have it be the date received and you have various choices there we could pick a due date if we want and and all of these different items so in this case our product is this product code and we could populate it with the quantity. We could parse that out of the email if we wanted to. And then our total amount, we are just gonna get from here. We could optionally define a message and all these additional fields. Feel free to explore this depending on what you're working on. And then we click continue. And then we test the action. And then once you have everything set, you can click publish zap publish and turn on. What's going to happen is when an order is placed in our e-commerce system, a confirmation email is going to be sent directly to the mail parser inbox. Mail parser is going to do its thing instantly. It's going to filter through, find those fields, send them to Zapier. Zapier is going to catch that data and then it's going to add it to QuickBooks. So that's going to all be automatic. And now guess what? 
That process went from 30 minutes to 15 to five <laughs> to zero. Now I do wanna let you know a couple things about Zapier. First of all, it's an amazing application. Second of all, it's a big place with lots to learn. So I did basically an intro, very high level, but I wanna let you know that it can connect to many different apps and there's a lot of stuff to explore. So if you wanna get into it, get into it, check it out, and just realize that it's a big place with lots of stuff to explore. Zapier has saved me countless hours because of all the automations that I have. And what's great about Zapier is they have tons of guidance built right into the app, so you can just point and click and use no code to connect all these online applications. All right, awesome. Well, hey, listen, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like seeing the details of this journey of taking a process from 30 minutes to 15 minutes to five minutes to zero minutes, skipping Excel, and getting the computers to do our work so we don't have to. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 